Gobble, 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 gobble. All right, uh, it's new products time. Uh, a little reminder, if you have an Adafruit account, sign up for the new products newsletter. It's really hard to sign up for it and do. It also is one of our more popular newsletters, the only one that's inside of an Adafruit account. We never send it to you unless you ask for it. But people kept asking, so we did it. So this week, Lady Ada. OK, we have two connectors that are part of a pair. This is a USB-A plug. Uh, terminal block breakout. This is really handy if you just want to like really quickly make a USB cable or you want to like attach to a USB device. Um, so I thought these were really neat and we have them in both this plug type and then we also have the socket type. Uh, so we get both types. And what's neat is, as you can see in this photo, the terminal block detaches, so it's kind of easy if you want to make a detachable cable if you want to like hot swap them. Um, so you get, we only have the A type, but you can usually like connect you know, that socket to like a micro USB cable and that way you can like connect to, to micro USB. And so here is, um, I'll just quickly show it off. So you get the terminal block. So yeah, you've got like your standard A and I can never remember the pinout order. Cause like, it's like really hard to remember if it's like, oh, from this side or from like that side. So I always get it wrong. So it's nice is that they're labeled. So it says here, it's, it's kind of dark, but you can read ground, uh, D plus, D minus plus and S, S for, stands for shield. So that's the metal shielding. So sometimes you ground it and sometimes you don't. And then, yeah, you can like unplug this and then no sort of required, just use a screwdriver. So really, really handy. I think people really like our DIY USB connectors and this is like the easiest one of all to use. Check that out. Okay, next up. Here we go. Okay, so finally we have these and this is awesome. This is the AIY voice kit. So this is a Google AI, sort of like a DIY Google Home type of device. They're selling fast. We still have a bunch in stock. Um, this is the kit. You add a Raspberry, well, we have two. We have a kit that includes the Raspberry Pi, the SD card, power supply, and screwdriver, and also just the individual uh, voice kit if you already have a Raspberry Pi 3 on hand and you want to like build it out. Um, and it, you make your own little voice. You have a little hat that comes with it and you plug it on and you put it into this case and it turns into a okay. uh, DIY system. I practice because I, I wanted to make sure that I could ask some cool, some cool stuff. Okay, so, so you, it's ready. Yeah, so wa watch it. Folks, you're gonna like this. Let's put it here like this. So okay. and it's gonna be live. Okay, Google, who is Lady Ada? My apologies. I don't understand. Oh no, I, I pr Okay, Google, who is Lady Ada? According to Wikipedia, Limmer Fried is an American electrical engineer and owner of the electronics hobbyist company Adafruit Industries. Yeah, so it doesn't know your name, but it knew Lady Ada. Now, I had another one. I just had to figure out how to uh, pronoun pronounce, it, yeah. pronounce it right. Um, okay, Google, what is Adafruit Industries? According to Wikipedia, Adafruit Industries is an open source hardware company based in New York City. That's true. That's cool. It was founded by Limmer Fried in 2005 That's in true. her Massachusetts right. Institute of Technology dorm room. That's right. Um, but you can also ask it like other questions like the weather or like I'm gonna, movies. I'm going to try that. Okay, try. okay, Google, what's the weather? It's currently 39 and partly cloudy there. Oh, the oh. forecast tonight is 37 and clear with periodic clouds. Yeah. Okay, Google, what time is it? 8.50. Okay, that means we must be doing new products. Yes. All right. Thank you. So um, I thought maybe I could actually like, sort of take this apart if we're, if we're done doing the demo. Is that okay? Because I'm going to unplug it. Oh, yeah, completely learned its secrets. Ah, let's yeah. unplug it. So let's just quickly take it apart, because why not? Um, so inside, so you can see, there's a Raspberry Pi and then the voice hat. And the voice hat's hackable. You can, like, connect servos and, like, breakouts. Um, there's a speaker, but you can have a stereo speaker. You can add another speaker on top. You can use one of our breakouts. Um, if you want to have um, stereo, the speaker wire goes over here, and then the speaker mounts into this cardboard box. And then you've got um, one of like arcade buttons, basically, and then um, a dual I2S microphone um, that you know works with the voice hat. So this is kind of an all-in-one kit, and like you do have to do a little bit of software setup, but they make it pretty easy um, to get going. You just burn the image and follow the instructions and the, the booklet which is by Magpie, also has a bunch of uh, cool uh, projects and hacks and mods if you want to um, do more with it. So like if you yeah. want to wire up extra parts or attach a servo um, or do control a DC motor. So yeah, it comes with a really beautiful instruction book. I think this is a really good holiday project because it maybe takes a few hours on the weekend, but you can basically build your own voice kit. 
Yeah, and we're new products, but I'm just going to mention something. So makers, hackers, artists, engineers, everyone out there, um, this type of voice assistant and, and AI is absolutely going to be here. It's not going away. So we have a couple of choices. You get the sealed one that you don't know how it's working. You can't turn it off. You don't understand all the different things. You can't change it. You can't do anything. Or we can show all these big companies how valuable we are, and we can make this work for us. Right? Yeah. This is our chance. So I think this is a good idea. I'm the same person who you know watches the Foreman Project. Hey, everybody, watch out! And it, I think this is a good idea because if you if we can understand it, take it apart, make it do things, um, modify it, then it's more ours. Especially if it's something so intimate that's living in your home that could potentially constantly be listening to you. Yeah. And so why not understand it? Yeah. All okay. right. So this is a good idea. So yeah, we have it both as a all-in-one pack. Basically, you get everything you need, and also just the the box itself. Uh, both are available. Yeah. So shout out to Google for doing this. Um, yeah. There, there isn't, there isn't a lot of things that are this easy to start interacting with, like AI and more. This is, this is a good start. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but it actually turned out a lot. By the way, like I wasn't really sure when I first heard about this. I was like, is it really gonna work out? But actually, like it was a really, it's a really fun kit. Yeah, and I like that they bundled with Magpie and Raspberry Pi is working on this. This is a Linux computer. You can do a lot yeah. of cool stuff. Okay. Uh, next up. Okay. Start of the show. Besides our community of cool people and Lady Ada, is this? It is an I2S DAC. It's it's basic, but it's useful. This is the UDA 1334A I2S DAC. This is a really nice. As I2S DACs go, this one's really nice. It's stereo line level out. It has all sorts of extras like you know muting or like different modes. It has a built-in phase lock loop, so you don't need an M clock signal. Um, what this is used for is if you have a microcontroller board that doesn't have analog outputs, but you want to uh, play audio. This is what it's good for audio playback. Um, that's where you would add this in for like Raspberry Pi Zero, for example, or Raspberry Pi if you want like digital audio, or if you have um, like a high-end Cortex microcontroller or microcomputer, they often don't have analog output. Instead, you're expected to hook up an I2S um, analog converter that takes digital data and does the analog conversion for you. Um, this is a very low cost, but very high quality DAC. I'm, I was using it for a very long time at home as like, you know, I plugged in my nice headphones. It's, uh, we set it up so it's very low noise, um, has all the filters in it, and it's, you know, ready to be used with um, higher impedance headphones or line out. It's kind of our idea, kind of the best DAC out there uh, for the price. It's not like super crazy audiophile, but for 99% of projects, this will do the job very well. Okay, and with that is a new product. So, Lady Ada, let's do a recap. new product recap. Okay, new. We've got some breakouts for USB. We've got USB A male plug type and USB socket female type. With a terminal block breakout, you get power, ground, D minus, D plus, and shell. So, you can very easily make breakouts or cables. We have the Google. AIY, DIY, AI assistant for Raspberry Pi kit. We have it both as this box with all the parts you need, no soldering required, add a Raspberry Pi power supply SD card, and you can build your own Google uh, home powered AI assistant. It's really fun. And we have the UDA 1334A I2S DAC. It's a really nice stereo DAC. Good quality, but not too expensive. An easy way to add a stereo audio output to your digital microcontroller or Raspberry Pi or microcontroller. And that's the new product for the week. Thanks, everybody. Yay.